Buller's Albatross Buller's Albatross, or Buller's Molly Mock, is a small Molly Mock in the Albatross family. It breeds on islands around New Zealand and feeds in the seas off Australia and the South Pacific. It was named for the New Zealand ornithologist Walter Buller. The Buller's Albatross is colonial, nesting generally on cliffs, steep coastal terraces, grassy meadows, and tussock-covered hills. Birds in the Snares Islands also nest under trees inland. The nest is a mound of soil, grass, and roots and is set into depressions in the breeding area. Breeding begins in December. Eggs on the Snares are laid in late January. Incubation lasts around 60 days, with both parents sharing the responsibility. The average incubation shift is around 10 days. After hatching, it takes 170 days to fledge the chick. They breed annually. Buller's albatross feeds on squid, fish, tunicates, octopus, and crustacea. Buller's albatross is endemic to New Zealand. They breed on Snares Islands, Salander Island, Chatham Islands, and Three Kings Islands. Adults forage between 40 degrees south and 50 degrees south from Tasmania to the Chatham Rise. Juveniles and adults that aren't breeding disperse across the South Pacific with a number feeding every year in the Humboldt Current off Chile and Peru. Mollymocks are a type of albatross that belong to the family Diomedeidae of the order Procellariiformes, along with shearwaters, fulmers, storm petrels, and diving petrels. They share certain identifying features. First, they have nasal passages called naricorns that attach to the upper bill, although the nostrils on the albatross are on the sides of the bill. The bills of Procellariiformes are also unique in that they are split into seven to nine horny plates. Finally, they produce a stomach oil made up of wax esters and triglycerides that is stored in the proventriculus. This is used against predators as well as an energy-rich food source for chicks and for the adults during their long flights. They also have a salt gland that is situated above the nasal passage and helps desalinate their bodies due to the large amount of ocean water that they imbibe. It excretes a highly saline solution from their nose. Buller's albatross averages 79 centimeters, 31 in. It has a silver-gray forehead, a gray head and throat. It has a black patch around the eyes with a white crescent behind and below the eye. Its back, upper wing, and tail are dark gray, and its rump and underparts are white. Its underwing is white with a black tip, with a broad sharply demarcated dark band at the leading edge. Its bill is large and black with yellow on the upper mandible and the tip. The juvenile has a darker head and a brown bill. Buller's albatross was formerly classified as a vulnerable species by the IUCN. But new research has shown it to be not as rare as it was believed. Consequently, it was downlisted to near-threatened status in 2008. It has an occurrence range of 16,100,000 square kilometers and a breeding range of 4 square kilometers. According to a 1999 estimate, there are 64,000 birds and there are 31,939 breeding adults. These are located as follows, 8,877 pairs on the Snares Islands, 4,912 pairs on Salander Island, 16,000 pairs on 44's Island, 2,130 pairs on Big and Little Sister, 20 pairs on Rosemary Rock in the Three Kings group. The Snares Islands population has been increasing, but lately not as much as in the 1970s, whereas the Salander Island population, which was stable from 1985 to 1996, has now shown about an 18% increase. The survival rate of adults on the Snares Islands increased to 95.5% and breeding success rate was 70.8%, whereas on Big and Little Sister, adult survival rate is 93.5% and the breeding success rate is between 57 to 60%.
Buller's albatross is the most common bycatch from longline fisheries out of New Zealand, and even though netson cables were banned in 1992, squid trawlers still catch them. Finally, Weka gallaralis australis was introduced to Big Sister and may take eggs and chicks. Most islands are legally protected, except for the Chatham Islands colonies which are on private land. In 1998, C.J.R. Robertson and G. B. Nunn split the species into two, Thalassarge bulleri and Thalassarge platii, although the majority of authorities including Idis, James Clements, BirdLife International, and Michael Brook have not yet accepted this split. These are the few pieces of information about Buller's albatross. Like this there are 25 other distinct albatross there. For a detailed encyclopedia about albatross and for additional information about individual species, please check the description below. That's it for now, and thank you for watching. If you appreciate our work and want us to continue and do much better than this, please support us with your contribution. You can find PayPal link at the description. And if you liked our video, please give a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.